they fought it a little bit, but then it became actually beautiful, and then they kind of were known for it yeah. in Canada. Well, and, so. and probably the last time we saw something like that was Greg Luganus' era. Because he that was my inspiration for yes, having them do it. Yeah. He, he did that, right, in, in one of his compulsory dives. Tom likes to think he can do that dive, but not quite the same. I, s I saw a YouTube video of him doing well, that. So that was the Mexican team, one of the teams that's yes, qualified for the Olympics right, already. So this team here is quite a surprise at the World Championships um, because definitely they're not the team that sort of has been around the last four years. But these guys really stepped it up. And I think uh, the majority of us were very, very happy for Yael Castillo up at this point, which is... Mine. Mm. And uh, I noticed there were some other standout uh, standout divers that yes. you got to work with as yeah. well. Yeah, so, uh, you know, they all too uh, work hard and, and love the opportunity. But I think the foreign kids just really understand and appreciate the sort of opportunity that they're giving, given. and. Um, yeah, and it, it, it was fantastic. What well, makes, I think, in some ways I look at it, for some of the international crowd, mm. Mm. you know, an education in the U.S. can make an incredible difference in their lives. Changed my a, life. A lot of the Americans yeah. already, you know, they're going to go to college in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, Terry, Terry was one. Dave Perring, Olympics, for the Olympic uh, team in Great Britain. Okay. Um, and that's sort of a long story, not really so the details, because there were quite sure. confidential at that time but that's how my relationship with the Russian team started okay. and then while I was at the Olympics uh, Vera Alina um, wanted to make a change in her life and she was being recruited by the University of Texas Matt Scoggin yeah. and Vera talked to me and said listen um, I'm going to come to Texas can you help me and I said well what, what do you mean by help so well, I've got to pass the TOEFL, which it just automatically takes off. Just, you know, I knew of Tom, but he hadn't really made an impact in diving. I think the best place he was was sixth. In uh, he had won the bronze, obviously in London, yeah. under difficult circumstances. But yeah. and then of course he was sixth or seventh. After that, he hadn't done much in the two years after that. So he came to Houston, he was quite chunky, he was out of shape. Um, and little did I know, he was coming to see if I would be interested in moving to London. And I was like, no. So the it was a recruiting trip in it, reverse. It was, uh, he, they recruited me. And I said, no chance, it's bloody cold there. It's, I, no, um, I'm not going. Anyway, so he sort of left it and then we, sat at the kitchen table. He just charmed me and just blew me away. The top three teams are, it's still relatively close. Yeah. See, so these guys here, because they understand the pressures on them now uh, to beat the other Mexican team, who's competed, been competing for Mexico for many years. But these guys here, um, they train together, they're in sync. They're in sync on a personal level. They're in sync on a technical level. And you can just see that they really enjoy each other's company. And I think that's the thing that was, you know, in synchronized. It's not just about the diving element. It's about personal, really understanding each other. And, you know, still a tight race. It is very, very exciting. Close. We're sitting in third coming into this round. Mm -hmm. Great takeoffs. Oh, Yael just missed that one a uh, little bit yeah. long. You can see the little bit the, over the inhale of breath of the uh, <laughs> the Mexican coaches, not the jumping up and down for joy. So they'll still stay in the top three. Yep. But uh, that might just cost them the silver. Yes. So w what happens in this particular case? Um, you know, I'd been watching these guys practice. And in practice, you don't have that extra adrenaline. This is what I'm saying about pressure training. So they weren't making that dive. So what happens in a meet, you're sort of going for more, and then you've got that adrenaline on top of that. It can make you do things that you wouldn't. Yeah, you don't have the yeah. same. Yeah. yeah. So that's the difficulty about pressure training. Cause An interesting field. You can see these are the top uh, teams in the world. Only good. eight will get to be in the Olympics. 